I'm going to share, share with you guys a chicken wing company called ARC Group. But I only go to eat chicken wings while I'm in Florida. I only go to Hooters. Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can look at the ticker here. The ticker is ARCK and it is listed on OTCQB. And the market cap is three point, uh, is seven point eight four million, and the enterprise value is eight point four five million. And we also got the shares outstanding six point five three uh, million. And if you can see the logo just next to the ARC group, uh, the Dick's Wings and Grill. This is its most popular brand, which. Uh, also, the company's uh, signature product here is the Buffalo Wings. What's the stock trade net right now? Uh, dollar twenty. One point two dollars. Yeah. Oh, dollar twenty. Okay. Yeah. That's one point two. And before we dig into the company's story, financials, and management, I think we, it is necessary that we have a quick look at the whole chicken wing market. Uh, we, we see from next page. Yeah. The chart here uh, is where I find from uh, USDA National Retail Report. And we can see from here the chicken wing prices are at seven years low. So is it a good news or bad news for the company? I think we can judge it from two sides. First, uh, the chicken wing is like just 1.4 pound uh, right now at, at the end of July 2018. And, uh, which a year ago we have the, the price is 2.06 per pound. So it makes easier for the company to, to purchase more at a lower cost and extend this scale run. And we, from the other side, uh, we need to think why the price is keep going down like this. Because I think mainly because the demand plug and the price went, went with it. Well, the production of the chicken production is that going higher? I think uh, this, this industry is a demand that in industry. I, I mean, so a lot more chicken is being produced, and that's why the the cost is coming down, or you know, supply and demand. I think the supply didn't change too much. So it stayed the same, and yeah. right, the prices went down. Yeah, I think it, it is mainly because of the demand. Because, demand. So, yeah, okay. the, the the supply is very limited. We, uh, chicken only have two wings. No, no. Uh, we haven't seen anyone can develop a chicken with like eight or six wings. So, uh, so, so uh, let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Here's a problem that I have with this company. Yeah. Is we have chicken wing prices at a seven-year low. Yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like the stock is almost the same. Mm -hmm. So they have not been able to take advantage. In a market where demand is declining, that we just talked about, mm -hmm. they have not been able to take that inc that improvement in costs and spread it across the enterprise or scale it. Well, why has it? So you had a really good thing yeah. with prices coming down, mm -hmm. right? Wouldn't you think if you're a company and prices came down that you should be making more money? Mm -hmm. But they're not. So it looks like their EBIT improved a little bit. Yeah, but their earnings history hasn't. It, it should. It should, it should. Period. Yeah, period. It's and your, prices are never going to be this low. So what concerns me is if you got a market that's dying. And I don't know if they have the capacity to really uh, expand this brand uh, of the stores uh, because if, if you look at the metrics here, it doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. I know. Would you? I wouldn't want to buy this. I'd rather buy a Hooters or a Buffalo Wing Franchise. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to buy any franchise yeah. unless there was a compelling reason that you know. Now also, I'm, maybe the the demand maybe uh, the, the demand may touch the bottom and the bottom. <laughs> well, no, and that's very true. Yeah, I say I'm always a fan of looking further, but yeah. If, yeah, we see it, you know what I mean? Into that. So I, I would say for now, I don't know if that answer is to put it on the watch list and, yeah. and, and keep answers, you know, keep looking for answers. But mm -hmm. uh, if we have to allocate our resources, I would say elsewhere. And if I'm over in the East Coast of Florida, Japan, maybe once in a while. Yeah. My wife has cousins over there in Jacksonville. 
want to try and check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's great. Sure. I agree, but I like chicken. That was the big one. Chinese FN.com, Chinese FN.com, a Chinese FN.com, a Chinese FN.com, a Chinese FN.com, a 刚看完了来自华尔街团队非常精彩的本周选股秀精华，那一样的二十分钟完整的散户第一金选股秀内容将会为我们散户第一金会员独家来播放。接下来我们把镜头转向 Las Vegas， 大家知道上周吴文老师受邀参加 Las Vegas 全球应该说是全美最大的大麻展的这个以媒体贵宾的身份来受邀来参加观摩。那同一时间呢 ，CIX 中文投资网。也受邀来参与一场呃独家高端的私人参会，当中我老师呢跟三十名来自于华尔街还有美国各地高端投资人来介绍 CX 中文投资网的业务项目，特别是大家最关注的就是目前我们在发展中的 CBD 业务，来听一看我老师现场的精彩 presentation。We start as a media company in 2000 on the on the internet.、Um, last two years, we decided to move something,、uh, some portion of business attention to uh, CBD. Uh, I think China have a long way to go to become fully legalized、um, for the CBD. But、um, you know, China is biggest、uh, population country in the world, so it's、uh, you cannot ignore it. Uh, so let's let's、uh, start my presentation. So this is、uh, Shanghai skyline. It's、uh, 20 years ago. It's nothing there. Maybe we only see the ball, but right now、uh, it's it's so so beautiful.、Um, so how many uh, how many、uh, people been China? Okay, wow, a lot of people. Okay, great, great. I think China have.、Um, Middle class can be emerging, surpass the whole U.S. population around like three hundred, over three hundred million people. Chinese is the most commonly spoken language today, with over a billion people, twenty、uh, percent of the equal to twenty percent of the world population. That's our potential of the market. So just imagine everyone need a one CBD a day. So that's huge market. It's like everybody drink Coca Cola. It's just a dollar a day, but that's Uh, 1.4 billion dollars revenue for Coca-Cola. Those are it's kind of、uh, big market, right? Hello, it's Paul Pelosi from America. Today is CBD Day in Shanghai, China. Pump, pump. One, two, three. Yeah. Much love. Pelosi from America. Thank you. CBD. Pump, pump. CBD 是水样生物磁面膜，含有多粒黑色能量小磁石，它与人体互为感应相吻合的磁场，改善肌肤自我修复能力。循环导入，深入补水，加倍吸收，让肌肤水润透亮。
Uh, we recently, on October, we announced the first skincare pro uh, line on the Alibaba largest online retail platform called the Tmall. Here's the products we sell on the Tmall. As you can see, this is one getting very popular. This is the mask you see on the commercial. Uh, Alibaba has 500 million registered customers on Taobao. Tmall is the premium section on Taobao. It's very hard to uh, get a flagship store on Tmall right now from Alibaba. So we are so glad to announce that we we um, we got approved by the Alibaba. You are you aren't into any of the THC, you know, uh, adult. You are just strictly into the hemp. Is that correct? Yeah, CBD only. C which is uh, 0.3%, right. less than 0.3% THC. So more focus on medical marijuana, not the recreation side. So okay. no THC.从感恩节假期中归来周四公布的是十月个人收支数据以及PCE价格指数 微博和新浪的财报，而周四盘前零售商品牌Dollar